Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Minecraft models, and how to import them, how to make them, how to texture them, and everything else you might need to know. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. So first, you're going to go to this website, I will leave a link in the description, and this is where you are going to download Blockbench. We are going to use it on Windows, and so you're going to go to the Windows option and hit Installer. I already have it installed, so I'll see you there. Okay, so once you're in Blockbench, you're going to want to install a plugin. So in order to do that, you go to File, Plugins, and then you're going to go to Available and search in this little tab, Minecraft Entity Wizard. I already have it installed, but yeah, all you need to do is click Install, and it should add it to this list and once you have that we're going to click open the minecraft entity wizard and create an entity hit let's go name this is where you get to name your entity i'm going to name it test because this is just a test this is the identifier where the game identifies the thing you're going to spawn so you just put like my mob or something and then you need to put a colon and then test you can't put any capital letters otherwise it will not work then you're going to hit next now if you want to retexture a mob or give it a different behavior you're going to click on one of these i for this video i'm going to be making my own minecraft model so i'm going to hit basic still then hit next behavior hit different behavior and then if you wanted to just like move around in a random pattern you hit basic walking but if you want it to stay still, hit basic still, hit next. This is where you can make the spawn egg. I'm just going to do simple colors. Then hit export. Export as NC add-on. You can export it as an MC add-on file. You can integrate it into an existing pack that you have made. Or you can go to export to folder and create your own new pack. I'm going to name the test pack. And then for pack authors, you can just put your username. I'm just going to put mine really quickly. Then you're going to hit export. Or you could, of course, choose a picture for the pack. I'm not going to do that, though. And then you hit edit model. And boom, you have this. Now, we don't want it to look like a cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this texture and then hit the delete button on your keyboard. Hit create texture, name it the same thing you named your thing, I named it test, so T-E-S-T -E test. The resolution, you want it either a multiple of 64. So, 64 by 64 is like a classic Minecraft block resolution. Or, if you want it to be like 4 pixels in the space that it would normally be 1 pixel, hit 128, which is what I am going to do right now. Hit blank, and then hit confirm and then here you go you have a new texture next what you're going to do is you're going to select this root file hit delete again then you're going to add a cube now this is where the fun begins what you're going to do next is you can make the actual model the texturing we're going to do later but you can a bunch of different options the i button toggles its visibility so you can see and hide different cubes that you create with the move tool, you can move your cube around, up, down, left, and right. With the resize tool, you can change the shape and dimensions of your cube. With the rotate tool, you can rotate your cube from the rotate point. Now, the pivot tool is the rotate point. So you can set the rotate point from which the block will rotate. So if you want the block to rotate from this corner right here, what you're going to do is you're going to align that right there on that corner. Then you're going to go to rotate, and then boom, you can edit it from that corner right there. I'm going to quickly make my own model. Let's get creating. Now that I've made something super simple, I'm going to texture it. So, how you do this is you go over to the paint tab in the top right corner. And then, you can see a grid system on your cubes. In order to paint them, you go over here, you can pick the different color. You can choose the shade. 
and all that other stuff. You can choose other colors that you've done previously. So, in the textures, you don't want any of the textures to overlap. So, you select each cube and individually move the texture, which is over on the, on the left hand corner. You can move it to a different area so that they don't overlap with each other. Because if they overlap, the texture will stay the same on both the cubes and you'll be editing all the cubes at once. So you don't want that, so you spread them out. You, and, there is also different tools. There is the paintbrush tool, which is just a normal paintbrush. There is the paint bucket tool, which fills the whole side of a shape with the color. The eraser tool, it's pretty self-explanatory. The color picker, which can be used to pick different colors on the screen. The draw shape tool, which is the best tool. You can use it to draw out different shapes. You can select from four different types of shapes. The gradient tool, which can be used to create a gradient of different colors. I'm going to add a quick texture to this painting. I'll be right back. Now, once you've textured your item, you're going to save it. So the way you do this is you go over to file, hit save model, and then you're going to hit test.png, hit save, it'll give you a little message. You're going to hit yes. And then, just to make sure, you're going to do it again. And then it should pop up as test.geo.json. That is the file that will store the info on how the game will build your cube. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to pop into Minecraft really quickly. And you are going to either select the world that you want to add the file to, or create a new world. I'm going to just create a new world really quickly. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the add-ons tab, going to go to the my packs, and you should see your test pack should show up here. Hit activate, which should activate it, then go to behavior packs. Once again, your test pack should show up right here. Hit activate, then hit continue. Then hit create. Once you're in the world, if you go to your inventory and type in test, you'll see that your spawn test will come. If you spawn it, you have your test. This is what you made inside of Blockbench. It has been imported into Minecraft, and now you can place it around your world wherever you want to, or in my case, around the whole world. If you go into chat, you can do a slash summon, and then the identifier we talked about earlier. You can do this by doing um, my mob, or whatever you named it, test, you hit enter, and of course, you see, it spawns, right there. Anyways, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to tell your friends, because I only have a couple subscribers, and I'm looking to maybe get some more from this video. Hope you can make something amazing in Blockbench. Goodbye!